Hi everybody, it's 11-3-2017, November 3rd. I want to thank Paul and other subscribers for pointing out that this first clip that I included in my response to Dame Wigington's claims regarding the California fires directed energy weapons video, the first clip of a video posted on YouTube, direct energy weapon caught on video, those of you who have pointed out that this well, Paul points out the first clip is totally fake. Um, I'm sorry that I included this video and it being the first video in this video of mine. It does, looking closely at this, appear to be fake. And, you know, sometimes I will state things in a rather definitive way and it's not definitive. Now you saw the what appear to be beams of light then the explosion that occurs in a different area. Now do I know how you know lasers you know they can create these explosions and the explosion would happen a little off not right at the point of the laser? Um, I think that lasers, when they create these explosions, they create at the point that the laser, you know, they have these precision attacks with these lasers. So that is one piece of evidence that this may have been a edited video posted on YouTube as a directed energy weapon, and it may not be that. You know, I operate in ways that it doesn't even dawn on me to edit videos and then post them as just one video of an actual event that occurred but people do and I, I have to admit that there is a part of me that is still so naive and that comes from how I operate in the world believing that people do operate in the world like this but they don't they don't. And it, w it would just never even dawn on me to edit out videos, put it together, splice it together, and then present it in a manner that is the truth. There are so many people who lie and deceive and do this kind of stuff. And I do think you know, I've received comments from subscribers who have said it's the people who don't lie that actually will just believe people as if they're telling the truth. And I will say that, yeah, I, I have to stop doing that for myself. But Paul, thank you. Um, I wanted to post a video on this from the first person who left a comment saying that, that that this video is fake. I did look at it more closely and I do see that this could be one of those videos that is edited in such a fashion um, and it is fake. So it is important that whenever we state something as definitive that we've got to come back and clear up publicly that we've made a mistake. That's what the truth demands. And the truth is, when you get on this road, it is very demanding, requiring an awful lot of us. And essentially what it requires is that we take back seat to it. Our egos take back seat to the truth. I also want to point out that, well, I before I get off this, I just want to say that I've said it may be it, because I can't definitively state that it is a fake. And maybe you guys are seeing things that I can't see. I, I don't know all of the weapons that they have. I don't know if a laser can actually create an explosion a little bit off the target of the laser. Um, 
you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight men here. They seem to be talking. They don't seem to uh, be all that concerned. I don't even think this guy turns his head to see the explosion. So that certainly appears. But then you see that they're all kind of uh, in different positions looking as if they're about to run. You see the ground moving. And then you only see one, two, three, four men. But it does appear as if it could be real. I'm sorry, don't get upset with me that I can't even definitively claim that this is fake. But the first instance, you don't even see this man turn his head to look at that explosion. So, yes, something is very, very wrong. You know, the problem that I have is that when, when we claim that, and where is that video, where is that shot? of the blue oh I'm gonna pause you here in this video you see the man you know he, he at the same time you see this light flash and to be honest I can't even tell if the light flash is coming from the ground up or from the top down. Okay, it looks like it's coming from this man's extended hand. But we do clearly see this beam of light. Now, some of you have claimed that it's a light flash from a camera. And I want to bring you to the spot where, right there. Now, it looks a little thinner at the bottom, and it's going up, kind of wide, and it gets more expansive at the top. But I can't really see clearly from where this is starting. And I believe it might be starting from here. Okay, I posted this video in this video. And this is not smoking gun proof of the use of directed energy weapons during these California fires. It is proof that people saw blue lights it is circumstantial evidence that people saw blue sparks, but it is not smoking gun proof of the use of directed energy weapons to start the fires or that even directed energy weapons were used. This is circumstantial evidence, very, very strong circumstantial evidence that people saw blue lights and blue sparks. It is circumstantial evidence that there were anomalies occurring during these fires. But it really is very important to state what is smoking gun evidence and what is circumstantial evidence and the two are very different this would not prove a case that lasers were involved in the starting of the fires or that directed energy weapons were used and I am sorry for and I can't even remember how I stated this video but I probably stated it as definitive uh, proof of lasers. And I 
did want to make the correction. I wanted to make the correction in this video when people pointed it out even before Paul. My primary channel was taken down. I've got a lot going on personally, so and my memory is really bad. So I want to thank Paul for reminding me that I needed to post this video. Yeah, the truth really is incredibly demanding. 